How's it going guys? We are back on another video here and this video is going to be my prediction on the next event it will be tomorrow starting at 5 p.m. Eastern. Team of the season does end and I think this one's kind of a layup so I'll explain how I think it's going to work. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. Let's hop into the video right now. We're thinking it's going to be the Stanley Cup event, Stanley Cup playoffs event. And I'm going to explain how it's going to work. I would assume it'll be the same format. It has been the same format pretty much, I would say, since NHL 19. So it's been a lot of years, guys. They could change it this year. Obviously, it's always a possibility, but here's how it works. So, uh, for example, you're going to have new Master Set player items every, every, I think, every round. Every round typically is what they do. So you'll have your round one MSPs, round two, round three, and round four. What they did last year, though, uh, they were all the same overalls and... 96 overalls what they were for each round so it was kind of boring to be getting 96 overall msps you know in uh in june but we'll see this was 98 this is nhl 22 okay but here's how it works so as i mentioned you're gonna get a set you know per round uh but in nhl 23 they actually did have another event going along with stanley cup i believe it was called hot heroes i could be wrong about that um but that's that was also something they did last year but this is really what you need to know. So you have the MSPs, but then you have the event cards, all right, guys? So here's how it really works. Round one Stanley Cup items boost plus two for every win by their team in the first round, okay? So for example, say the, the Rangers won the series, which they did. Obviously, Filipino plus one for a game one win, or plus two for eight, so it'd be 89, 91, 93, and 95. If the Rangers won the series, he'd end up being a 95 overall. So I think what they kind of did at this time was then the next round, they'd be 88, right? So uh, then they go up to 96. And then obviously round three, they go up to 97 max. And then if they won the cup, they'd be 98 overalls. So that's kind of how they did it, at least in NHL 22. Uh, when it comes to the actual overalls, the format is the same though, in terms of how it works, right? A plus two for every win. And it would only be in that series. So that Filipino card, if he got to 95, he would not be able to upgrade anymore. What I think they really should consider doing EA this year though, what I think would be really interesting is if they actually had fantasy playoff cards and what do I mean by that so they added you know the, that uh, Owen Tippett card Frank Vitrano Nachuskin all those right uh, in NHL 24 I think it'd be interesting if they had those for playoffs so that would be intriguing to me so say for example a team like uh, how about uh, how about Boston right so you get a fantasy card and give it to what, what would be an interesting player I guess they have a fantasy card maybe and, and maybe give me uh i mean i don't know jvr maybe that could be interesting and like start them at like 89 overall and like every goal they score uh they'd go up plus one or something or i'm trying to think of who else they could probably use i mean posture knock's too easy uh zaka maybe but he already zaka already has a fancy car so that wouldn't make sense so ignore what i just said uh but yeah they, someone like that could be interesting swayman maybe a goalie they can start at like 89 overall and again every every win is, is a plus one and they can keep going up throughout the whole playoffs that could be intriguing to me something just something different something different so maybe that's a it's just a thought though i mean you guys can let me know if you think that's silly or not but i think that's an interesting idea they could maybe could you know potential try out uh, have here uh this is nhl 22 as i mentioned so every team gets one at least i i guess they got two here in nhl 22 i believe in nhl 23 i'll, I'll look at nhl 23s in a second believe that uh they only got one per team in, in the first round i could be wrong uh but that's how it worked the objectives you got your your power of collectible whatever objectives objectives i mean the packs these cards are actually really good too i mean they're 98 overall so i mean no question that's not surprising at all um but yeah these are very very good cards here let me see if i can uh, if i actually look at them here at all uh yeah i do so yeah no these are these are actually really good cards here i mean that max patch already 94 speed with synergies you can definitely get faster as well but uh, that was nhl 22 i mean I, I like to show 22 because i think it's very similar to 23 and now because obviously it's all the the next gen games but let's check out what nhl 23 was cooking for the stanley cup event nhl 23 was looking so you had three uh sorry four matches that player items uh, max upgrade 96 overall the round one card so they were 88 overall they were starting that here but uh were they a plus one or a plus two uh so a plus one there you go so basically it was a plus one for every win but a plus two if they won the series so for example 
Uh, let me think. Uh, the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes won the series, right? So, Stasny, plus four. They win four games, but they also won the series with an ex extra plus two. That became a 94 overall. So, uh, Stasny, they were maxing out at 94 overall. I think they went up every round as well. So, the 95 and round 296 and then 97. So, they were lower overall in NHL 23. I'd probably tend to expect them to be more like NHL... I'd say 22. I feel like the overalls are a little bit higher right now than they were last year. I could be wrong, uh, but that's uh, that's that's just my my gut feeling at least that they're going to be a little bit higher overall this year. Hopefully the MSPs are at least 97, but uh, we'll see if that's the case or not. Uh, but that's how it worked when it comes to the event cards. Every team, every team got one. Yeah, that, that's what it was. I think in NHL 23, yeah, every team got one. 22, you got two each. This year you only got one, um, and then yeah, it's just your objectives. Nothing too fancy here. You got your objectives, your packs. I mean, just so many. Look how many packs are in the store. I mean, this, this is overwhelming, honestly. Three, four, five, six, seven. And there might be another one, too. I mean, that's just absolutely ridiculous. Seven packs. And uh, is, that, is that all of them? And please tell me it is. Uh, that is. Okay. That's ridiculous. So seven silly cup packs, regardless, is crazy. Uh, you have your sets, you can trade in. I mean, it's different though, because event collectibles is how you power them up last year. Now it's all about power up collectibles, so we'll see if that continues to be a trend. But I just feel like the message that player items for NHL 23's Stanley Cup was just really boring because they were all 96 overall the whole time. That's just how I felt, at least. I mean, Andrew Ladd, not a bad card. 96 speed with, you know, his synergy there and, and a good shot, but. It just didn't feel like this card was anything, these cards weren't anything special. And the worst part of it all, guys, as I mentioned, was each round, they didn't go up in overall. It's not like, oh, round 297, round 394, right? Or 98, I'm sorry, I don't know why I said 94, 98. And then the finals was round, you know, was 99 or something. But they didn't do that, and uh, to me, that kind of hurt it. I don't know, that kind of hurt the event. Uh, I think the event was very, very mediocre last year. Uh, I just feel like the event in general needs something different. That's why I suggested the fantasy uh, idea. I don't know if I wouldn't say that was really my original idea. I think that was someone else in my in my Twitch streams chat. But just, I, I think it's got to be done differently here a little bit. It's just so predictable. I mean, I understand maybe if it's not broken, don't fix it. But I think at this point, it's just getting very, very tiresome. Like the All-Star game, you don't really need to touch, I don't think. That just kind of is what it is. Evo, right? But I think Stanley Cup has been a... You know, I mean, Stanley Cup's supposed to be the biggest event, you know? I mean, in terms of... It's the playoffs, right? The playoffs is obviously the most exciting time of the year, right? For for just hockey in general. So you would think that Hut would obviously have a very interesting event that would get people to be like, hey, you know what? Let me hop on Hut because the playoffs are going on, the playoff events going on. This is a lot of fun. Let me check it out. But unfortunately, that's just not the case. Uh, and maybe hopefully that's different this year. But uh, the forwards, Tarasenko. I mean, these are all solid cards. It's not like these cards are bad or anything like that. They're just not like, oh my god, I gotta hop on the game to get this Tarasenko card. It's just, there's just no cards that are really like that. Zubov here you got as well. Uh, and, and these cards, let me tell you guys, these were absolutely horrific. They need to make custom build Stanley Cup event cards. They have to be. If they're not custom build, they're gonna be absolutely awful. Because cards like Cody CC, right? With no speed synergy or anything like that either. I mean, he's gonna be getting like he. I think he had like 91 speed or something, max out, 94 overall, how or 92 maybe. That's so ridiculous. That's horrible. And I don't understand what the idea is of that. Brendan Dillon, 89 speed. Like they, for the most part, they're pretty bad. I mean, Grizzly is at least with 93 speed, but some of the some of them are really bad. Like I think like even one of like the highest overall ones is like really bad. Like I think like in round three it was pretty bad, but. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you want to see tomorrow for the event? I'm assuming it's going to be a Stanley Cup event. Will we get a second event like we did last year? Uh, I don't think we got it actually week one. I think it was week two we got the other event, but I'm not 100% certain. But what do you guys want to see and, and what do you expect to see? Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Please make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and follow me on Twitch, Henrik. I'm live there every single day. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you get three E's. And be sure to join my Discord to talk to me, follow subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.